Hello everyone, welcome to this series of fraud detection model building in mobile money transaction domain or any other payment fraud. This will also work very well on credit card transaction fraud. This is second part. If you are someone who has not seen the first part, I strongly recommend to check that out. If you don't want to check that out, still it's going to be fine. So in the series, we are trying to predict the frauds by looking at this synthetic data so i will provide the again i'll provide the link of this particular kaggle right in the description section i strongly recommend you to go through this so that you would have the better understanding of each of the variables now without wasting the time let me take you to the jupyter notebook here in this video uh, in the previous video we covered all this part right and at the end we got this kind of you know analysis the uh, this this kind of confusion matrix we created all right and if you see over here we just come back over here and just right over here we had got the accuracy of 99 percent and then after that we created the confusion matrix and we realized that no it's not pretty well thing right so today i'm going to show you something which would really be nice so in the previous video we saw that we directly dropped this variable and this categorical variable this one and uh, this one and then some couple of more variables okay and we also saw one hot encoding how to do one hot encoding here i would be doing little more analysis around the data where we would see why we should drop this particular variable is flagged fraud and i can also explain about why to drop these two categorical variables and not to keep them but again that will make the video a little longer so that's something i leave up to you if you are really interested in knowing why i am dropping this variable this variable and step variable then i can make another part of this video and in that i can show you that analysis but here i'm going to show you two things first is let me show you the proportion about this particular variable why i'm interested in dropping this okay so here what i'll do is i'll just take a group by df dot group by and into that i'm just going to put this particular variable and i will try to take a count okay let's see if this works all right so it is taking a little bit of time we will just see that okay all right so like here you can see in the entire data set in the entire data frame of these many records which is approximately uh, which is 6.3 million out of more than 6.3 million in fact right so over here we have only 16 records which will highly add any value into the data rather it may it might work to disbalance the analysis all right so this is the major reason i would like to drop this particular variable there are more factors um, many other angles also by which we can see why to drop but again i'm keeping it specific now the another part which i want you to notice is if you just have a look on this type variable right so if you just have a look over here so what you what we see is out of these four payment types i'm sorry the five payment types the fraud which we have let, let, let me just create a pivot on this df dot pivot table and into that i will use value as amount amount i'm going to use in value index that means the column on which we want to summarize okay so i will use type and on the row i want to see the intersection of payment type and the fraud right so here i would use in columns i would use is fraud if you would like to understand this pivot table in detail let me know into the comment i'll make a video separate video okay and over here i will just use the function called count okay now this will give us a very beautiful sum summary of the data now if you notice over here this is no fraud and this is fraud and these are the payment types so if you observe only cash out and the transfer only these two payment types have fraud so when we have fraud for only these two pay payment types unnecessarily keeping these payment types will make the data little 
you know complicated and will stop it giving from giving the very good analysis right or result so this is also one thing which we will do we will keep only those transaction type which has the fraudulent activity right or in the transaction type where frauds we can see okay we will keep only those transaction type other than this after keeping that we will also transform this because uh, see this is character variable so the model will not understand it so we will also tr uh, try to convert it into the numbers binary numbers like 0 or 1 because here this time we are going to have only two payment types cash out and transfer so we can simply say 0 to cash out and uh, 1 to tran transfer okay so this will do the work we don't need to do the one hot encoding all right so let's start with uh, uh, first you know dropping the unnecessary variables all right or maybe we can just fill start with filtering the data okay uh, let's say df filtered filtered okay or let me just say fltrt all right now here i would say df and here df type all right not this way df dot type dot is in there is a function called is in and uh, here i would just say what are the types that i want to keep so i want to keep only cash out and the other one which i want to keep is transfer all right now after doing this i will also take a head to show you the data all right that will hardly make any sense or rather i will do this thing again over here i'll do this over here so that it will give us a quick summary and we will be able to absorb this okay so it is just running now like you can see over here now we have only this many records okay we have only two payments okay now after once we are done with this thing next thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna encode this instead of cash out we're gonna have zero and instead of transfer we're gonna have one all right so for that what we need to we would require a separate module and that i'm going to import from sklearn sklearn dot preprocessing import label encoder label encoder okay that is done over here now here we just need to make an object i can say encoder equals to label encoder and this is done now the uh, we would create a variable let's say i'm going to create in the same data frame which is d, uh, df filtered in that i will create type encoded all right and here i will use this object encoder dot fit there is a function called fit transform and in that i just need to supply the variable on which i want to do the encoding so i want to do the encoding on type variable once this is done again i will run this particular summary and we will see what happens right so just to save the time i'm doing uh, i'm just doing the copy paste okay now if you see over here there is something wrong there something has gone wrong okay i will just take this variable over here and instead of type i need to put this thing okay now when you do this this is what you get right so if you see cash out has been encoded as zero and transfer has been encoded as one how do i know this look at the count of fraudulent transaction now we are done with this thing let's have a look at sample data the sample data looks something like this df filtered dot head and if you see the sample data is looking something like this now the time comes in where we need to drop all those variable which we don't want to keep into the data all right so let's just do that okay the, uh, this is the data frame which we have and here we're gonna say drop and in that we're gonna supply the list of variables so the first variable which i want to drop is step then i want to drop this type variable also because we have it encoded and that encoded variable we have here type encoded all right so we don't require it now the next thing which i will be dropping is this one and then the last thing which not last but the next item which i want to drop is this then i would drop is flagged fraud 
this is the variable which I will again drop now once this is written over here what I will say is access equals to 1 and in place equals to true alright and I will create a uh, store this thing in df2 I'm going to create another data frame alright so there is some error let me see what is the error not found in access what is not found in access okay let me remove one square bracket and just keep only one over here and let's see yeah it just worked now if you see the sample data df2 dot head and let's see how the how does this looks like oops it says df2 is not created why let me just have a look on this non-type object has head do we have the df data df2 data is not created why so all right so let's just do this oops okay let's just try from here i will just try from this and then again this oops there seem to be some error Alright guys, so if you face this kind of issue, so just read out the error here, it is saying type is not available, right? So what we would require to do is, we just need to come to the top from here, we will have to start it. Sorry for that, just let's bear with me, okay? Alright, so we created the data once again. We are going to see the summary over here. So we have the summary over here. Now this is not required but still i'm doing this okay just to follow this flow so what i'm doing is i'm just repeating the same task which i have already done okay now once this is done this will also work you see this just worked now here it comes here is here appear to be some problem df filtered or drop this 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 and let me see what happens this time yeah this just worked let me just try to check if it has something all right so again we have the error head why it's not working all right so what i'll do is i will try to remove this patch from here and let's see what happens okay but before that we will again have to reset our data oops there seem to be some problem now let me just start it from here and uh, once we do this then it is working let's run this and then let's try this this just worked and let's see this yeah so here we have our final data right so this is the final data on which we're gonna run the uh, model we will be running the model like you can see we have amount these balance variables is fraud and type encoded so zero is cash out one is transfer now let's try to do the train test split okay so to do that train test split what we're gonna do is train test split into this so first we require the training data so training data we can we need to keep all except is fraud so what we can do is we can say df2 dot drop and inside that we will say is fraud is fraud this is the variable which we want to just drop i will just put this in the square bracket after this i will just say x is equals to one now this is done the uh, then i need to put the y variable then y variable i will give df dot is rod i just hope that you don't get confused then uh, we also need to specify the test size which i am going to give just two percent and the random state i will keep false all right and here this all things we will be storing in train test split parts okay so i will just skip it down i'll come over here you can also do this instead of typing it all again and again we can just take it from here you can go through this train test split function in detail and then you can understand that as well okay oops there appears to be some issue all right so what i'll do is i'll again do this and then do this again there seem to be some issue let's read this what is it? found input variable with inconsistent number of samples okay so i will see that as well 
right so the main problem which here i have made is here i have used the original data frame which is df and here i am using df2 so both of these two set of data is different so i'll just correct it and let's run this thing okay so when i run this this should work well okay now this is done after uh, doing this trend test split we will again make the logistic regression which we made in the previous video okay so let's make it log model log reg i'm just going to create the object this time with this name okay so here i will just say logistic sorry i will say logistic regression and this is the object created then the next thing which we need to do is just train the model okay for which we, what we need to do is just call the fit function and in that we are just going to provide train x train and y train of data okay this will take few minutes so i'll just pause all right so it looks like this is so uh, this is fitted all right so now what next we're gonna do is we just gonna use this and predict do the prediction all right predict and in that the value which we supply is test now again if you see this so this is the prediction which it is giving right now we will just store this in predict variable predicted variable let's call it predicted variable right and now let's check the accuracy okay which does not make me more sense score rather i will say right and here i would say you know x test comma y test and let's see the score is again 99 uh, percent right which doesn't make more sense so let's try to check out the you know confusion matrix so for confusion matrix again we need to come up over here and just import that confusion matrix okay from sklearn dot matrix i would import import confusion matrix confusion matrix and then uh, i will i would also say classification report I would also import classification report these two modules i would report i will show you why is that required okay now when we come back over here we need to create a confusion matrix again so i will just create cm and then in that i will put confusion matrix and inside that first we need to use the actual value which is y test and then i would use predicted value which is this predicted and this will be created over here and here you if you want you can just print this again okay? Now this is done right so if you see these many are true prediction this is not making much sense so let me just create a heat map for you heat map and in that if you put cm so this is how it is going to look like right so if it is not looking very good so let me just modify this uh, let me say and not equals to true and let's see what happens okay so this is how the number is looking again this is not very very much pretty and readable so what i'll do is i'll just say fmt equals to digit now if you do this so this is still better and uh, we can change the color map as well so let's change the color map c map rather we can say and here we can say oranges and let's try to see if this works well yeah it is just working now if you want to draw the line you can do that also but here i'm just okay let me just create that line width line width i would say 0. Point, let's keep it 0. 0.5 and i will say line color equals to black all right so here we got the number so you see this many are true prediction now there is a classification report which is called uh, uh, recall precision and all so let me just print that also classification report here we see the absolute number but we don't uh, get the percentage right so we will try to see it in terms of percentage okay so here again uh, in the same way the way we created confusion matrix same way we need to provide the actuals first y test and then the predicted okay so when you provide this you're gonna get this kind of report this is not readable let me make it readable so for that what you can do is you can just print this 
all right and when you do this it, it's gonna look like this so this is not bad if you see over here here you are getting 62 percent of f1 score 72 percent is recall 55 percent is precision now if you see over here in the previous model which we had built so here uh, we had only these many of correct prediction all right so only this was the correct prediction now uh, if you produce the classification report for that particular thing so this is this is the value which we got compared to that what we are getting today is much better now other than this what i will do is all right so if you see over here this is the predicted value and this is the actual value where this stands for fraud and this is no fraud okay so we can do the labeling of this also right so let me just copy this from here and i will just put it over here and this will do the labeling now you can this is more readable other than this what we will do is we will also try to build the decision tree model and see what happens okay now let's uh, import that over here i will just come you can import anywhere but i will just to keep everything at one place i am importing over here itself from sklearn dot you know uh, from sklearn we will directly say okay let me say from sklearn dot tree import decision tree decision tree classifier this is what we would use not the regressor keep in mind okay now let's come over here and uh, here we would say d model let's say d model and here i will create an object which is this again we will do the same thing which is d model dot fit and uh, inside that we're gonna supply x train and then y train let's run this all right so we are done with fitting this model also i mean training the model now the time comes in where we need to do the prediction so let's say model dot i would say predict and inside that i would provide x test okay and i will just store in d predicted d predicted i will create a variable predicted equals to this okay inside that i will just store it for now now uh, i'm not going to check the accuracy because that doesn't make any sense in this case so i will directly check out the particular uh, i will directly create the confusion matrix okay d uh, i will say is confusion matrix equals to confusion matrix and inside that again i need to supply the y test and along with that this time i will use d predicted okay and this is created confusion matrix is created now just let me copy this part from here and let me just put it over here and let's see what happens all right this time we are getting this many numbers right so 1463 is the overall number which we are getting predicted truly right and here you see 1179 is the number which we got predicted correctly so this is still higher right decision tree is working much better compared to this uh, logistic regression okay now after this what we're gonna do is we will print the classification report print and inside that we're gonna say classification report and into that like you saw we will use y test comma d predicted d predicted let me just see it over here first yeah the y uh, d predicted itself so now i will just execute this and if you see over here this is much better if you see f1 score is 90 percent recall 89 and precision 92 for the frauds and no fraud this is absolutely 100 percent so this is truly amazing i would say rather okay now i don't go by my statement i would leave it up to you you do your research and do the evaluation and let me know in the comment section whether you would like to go with this particular model training or not whether you think this is correct or not right i leave it up to you but 
just let me know into the comment section what your observation is do the kaggle research other than this i just want to let you know on kaggle i found this particular you know case uh, i mean the submission which whoever has done this this is pretty um, much interesting right so if you are interested in visualizing and doing all the things in depth analysis i would highly recommend you to go through this and understand this okay this is very interesting one other than this what we got over here is also very interesting right 90 percent is the f1 score that's not less right so i think we did good job but again i don't uh, i would say don't go by my words and do your own research and let me know into the comment section how you find this okay thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck and before i close this i would just like to say that here we uh, get to know two new terms which is classification report and precision recall f1 score and we also created a decision tree model so these are two things which are new in this series i will be creating next videos on this part don't miss the chance to watch that and understand precision recall and f1 score until then once again happy learning wish you very all the